That was two months ago. And this place had so much life. Today, seated under this tree, are frustrated and confused swine farmers. This has become their routine. They come here to chat among themselves and deliberate on ways to get back to business. Ordinarily, in every pig farm, you are greeted by loud oinks from the pigs. But this cannot be said for this particular farm because more than a thousand of the pigs here have died from the African swine fever. So today, it is dead silence. Pig farmer George J counts his losses as he takes me around the farm. Two weeks ago, he noticed changes in his pigs to a strange disease which will later be identified as the African swine fever. For seven years, this is the first time he is experiencing this. Those pens that are affected, you see one or two of these pigs, they are not active, they won't try to eat. But normally, that's what we do. Commonly, we we'll try to touch, touch them and feel their body temperature. But in fact, honestly speaking, throughout my experience, seven years, I've never felt this kind of temperature before. Extremely hot. Then the animal will be breathing in a strange manner that call for immediate attention. Some of them too, you see the color, the body color changed. Some change light brownish, some yellowish color. And then one or two we've observed, some sort of blood will be oozing from the ear and then the eyes. Mr. J is part of the Jesso cluster of over 50 pig farmers who are the worst hit by the disease. He has lost more than 35,000 cities from the current situation. We have, uh, myself alone, I have approximately 30 pens. On the average, if you are considering the number of farmers and pens available here from this end to that end, we are looking at not less than 3,000 pigs produced annually. And then we, we normally start to sell them to the markets when they are uh, 50 kilos and above. So if we are taking the lowest kilo margin, that is 50 kilos, and multiplying that by 3,000, it means we are producing uh, approximately 150,000 uh, kilos of pork, that's pig meat, and that's equivalent to 150 tons of meat. Uh, some people have lost tons of money. I've, I've, I've lost not less than 35,000 Ghana City. So if, if after this, and most of our colleagues, <laughs> they, 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 they've lost interest. In fact, it's, it's disastrous. Veterinary officers at the Jesu Public Health Directorate have been assessing the situation. To avoid such disease outbreaks in the future, the farmers are advised to observe proper biosecurity practices. Higa Oforiwa is the Chief Technical Officer for Public Health in charge of disease control. What we are entreating them is to do the cleaning and disinfection for some time so that we li they leave their farm bare for some months. After that, we will let them bring in new animals to try and rail them to see if the disease is totally uh, eradicated. Meanwhile, the farmers have begun putting in measures to get them back to business, but yet to get clearance from the health officials. Be a compensation, be a free baby abba. It's no idea as at now, the Yanka Saint Pedro near the other name spray her. So be free outside, the dinner boa baha, so be cum de ye chum. And I tell so how we be all crow windy moon. Now I bow say, eh, when we say well, Hano or Baba Shawom, and no say, a say, a seize if you say a name baby will feel our way at the orba. Madame Uferiwa says it will take close to six months. For them to start working on this space again. 
So what is happening here is that most of the farmers are waiting for the apex to die from the African swine fever because most of them have been affected by the disease. Then they bury them. This has become a major cause of worry for most of the farmers who now would have to wait for six months before they can bounce back to their business. My name is Prince Sapia, reporting from Ejisoo.